Hey, what's up guys? It's Zach from Linkwish Videos. Today I'm going to show you how to make a simple maze game in Flash. CS5, you can do it in CS4 as well. First, you're going to need to create a new action script 2.0 today. So let's just begin. Um, on layer 1 is usually, or on frame 1 is usually the uh, the title screen, the introduction, stuff like that. So I'm just going to use the paintbrush tool right here. And I'm going to make um, which, which color to maybe a nice red. I can't really do anything else for me. Um, and I'm just going to make a title screen. So I'm going to name it Relinquish. So I'm just going to name it Relinquish. Um, next thing you're going to want to do is make a few buttons. So you can choose the oval tool here. I'm going to give it a gray stroke and maybe make the color like a teal. And I'm just going to make the button look like that. And I'm just going to copy it and paste it a few times. I'm going to paste it one more time. Alright. So now you have three what appear to be buttons right now. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the text tool and I'm going to make it that color. And I'm going to change the size to like change it to about 25. The text I'm using is impact. And I'm just going to write start. I'm going to place that on my, my button. Next, I'm going to make uh, another one, name it Credits. And I can do one more. I'm going to name it. I'm going to name it Rules, I guess. Or Instructions. I'm just going to name it Rules. Alright. Also, what you want to do on frame 1 right here. Right click on frame 1 and choose actions. This is really important so that the frame it doesn't just keep playing all the frames. And you're going to choose stop. And you're you're going to copy that code pretty much. It just stops that frame so it keeps everything on that frame. Um, that's it for now. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to highlight your start one. Invert to symbol. And on type, you're going to choose button, and you're going to name it start. And for rules, you're going to name it, you're going to convert to symbol, name button, and choose rules. <clears throat> and for credits, you're going to do the same thing. Convert to symbol, and name it credits. Now you'll see in your library you got these three buttons. So let's make this one. Let's make this one do something. So you're going to do on release. Shit. Go to and play to. So what this does is that <clears throat> whenever somebody clicks it, it will go to frame two. And whatever's on two, frame two will play. So for instance, start the movie, you click it. Nothing's going to happen right now because there's nothing on frame two. So let's go to frame 2 and we're going to right click and insert blank keyframe. And here, here's going to be the maze, basically. What you're going to do is you're just going to draw up a maze. <clears throat> I might use the pencil tool, I'm not sure. Because I can change the stroke. So I'm going to change the stroke to about 8. And then I'm just going to draw... Let's see, I'm move those out of the way. I'm going to draw maze. Not very good at them. Let me just see where it lines up here. To start, I'm gonna just draw a little start box here, and then I'm just gonna draw a maze. <clears throat> okay. 
chat. So I can draw my nails here. And I'm just gonna keep, just keep drawing. It's not gonna look as good as yours if you guys put time into it, because I'm actually not really putting any effort into this. And I'm just gonna block it off here so that way you can if you go down there you lose pretty much you go up here. It goes there, it can come down here, and then we'll just say we'll have the finish, we'll have the finish right here. Design. Yeah. So, what you're going to do is you're going to make, say, an oval tool, make it green. Get rid of the stroke, you don't need a stroke for this. And you're just going to draw a little circle. <clears throat> that little circle is now your finish line, so you're going to convert to symbol. And convert it to a button, say finish. And you're gonna, just for the purposes, I'm gonna make it go to frame one. On rollover though, as well. <clears throat> so, what this does is when the mouse rolls over this certain button, it will go to and play frame one. So, now what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna select everything, all the walls here and just convert all the walls to another button convert the walls to a button and then right click one sec, right click on the wall the walls go to actions and do on roll over go to and play say three is the loser screen so when it rolls over, it's going to take you to frame 3 here, and say it says loser. You're going to want to right click on frame 2 and go to actions, and type in this again. So that way it doesn't just skip the frame, and you're going to do it for this one as well. So now if you play it, Now if you were to play it, start will take you here, and you have a maze. If you roll over, you become a loser. And if you, if you win, you go to the beginning again. These two buttons won't work until you make something for them, but that's just basically how you um, make a simple maze game. If you would like me to teach you about adding more frames, like for instance, say you want these walls on another level, these exact same walls on another level, you would just have to, uh, I guess, copy and paste it and then change the code for the button. Um, that's pretty much how you make a maze game. Just post in the comments what kind of tutorials you're looking for, Photoshop, um, Dreamweaver, Flash, stuff like that and just subscribe follow us on twitter like us on facebook if you haven't already done that and yeah just keep checking back for more videos thanks for watching